All right, it is time once again for an episode of What's in the Box from Japan, where I open up a box from Japan and ask what's in the. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, as always, I order stuff from Japan, usually from Hobby Link Japan, actually, um, as it is this time as well. And yeah, just open it up and show people what I've ordered and stuff. Uh, so this one is inspired, uh, Hobby Link Japan had like a summer sale recently. Things are quite cheap. I got two pretty good deals uh, on stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to crack it open, we'll go through it, and I believe there's like a bonusy item thing. And one of the items in it should be a mystery bag box, lucky bag thing. So, it's like two mystery boxes in one, except I know what's in there, but you guys don't. Anyway, I'll open it up and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, I have opened it, uh, you can kind of see something peeking from the top there. But, first I will uh, grab the bonus item. So you ordered during the summer, uh, during the summer sale, you got a free bag of gummies. Now there were many different types of gummies. Uh, as you can see, we managed to get the Splatoon ones, which I'm very happy with, uh, actually. There's about five or six different ones. Um, they range from kind of interesting ones, like there was a Boruto one, which is had like rock, paper, scissors in gummy form. That was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, Splatoon ones are definitely one of the ones I, and this is Gami there, uh, definitely one of the ones I wanted. I guess we have orange, lime, no, orange and lime. Um, actually, wait, what flavours are they? Actually, sorry, it's orange and melon, uh, melon. So, yeah, not bad, and I don't know, okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent sized bag, actually. I thought this was going to be like a tiny little thing, but no. Okay then, well, ooh, ah, right, now we have the plastic enclosing things. Um, right, now, just a heads up, the mystery bag thing that I got. Oh, wait, no, actually, no, the mystery bag is actually here and is folded. Okay, cool. Now, I was going to say there's a chance... Sorry, hang on, I'm going to have to cut open this plastic, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, sorry. Uh, I was going to say, there is a chance that the mystery bag, because um, I ordered a T-shirt one months ago, um, and the bag just came, came kind of at the bottom and I didn't actually receive the bag as it was But this time I did anyway, so I'm gonna just grab stuff Move this to the back and we'll get on to my first ordered item, which is uh, the Digimon Digivolving Spirits series Atlo Cabaterimon uh, Let's see there. He is there um, And yeah, for those of you who don't know these are like so years ago, they made some Digivolving figures, uh, back when Digimon was like big in early 2000s. Um, and yeah, they've basically gone back and redone them, but as you can see, they're die-cast, they have metallic parts and stuff. Um, so I actually, I'll put an image here, I have a Wargreymon and a Diaboromon uh, from the series, which I love. Um, and yeah, I, I'm really, really into Digimon. I, I've had a bit of a resurgence the last few years. And yeah, I... Izzy is my favourite Digidestin from Series 1. Uh, I love me some Tentamon, but Atlacabaterimon is really, really cool as well. Now, as with the other ones, uh, Wargreymon and Diaboromon, I've never transformed them because I always love their Digivolve forms more than their original. This one, I'm a little bit torn because look how amazing that Tentamon looks and that Atlacabaterimon. Now, that's... Apparently a clear part for his eyes, which is amazing. This apparently is one of the best ones in terms of... You can't easily tell it's a transformable one, if that makes sense. So yeah, here's the uh, side and stuff. That is... Oh, sorry. That is the top. And yeah, this is number six. I do really want to get the Holy Angemon one as well. Now, I'm going to quickly pop this out, uh, just to have a quick look. I don't think I'm going to pull it out quite yet. I may do that at the end of the video. Uh, two seconds. Also, I just want to um, point out here on the on the very top, on the flaps, you actually get the um, crest as well. Which I think you can cut out. I don't know why you'd want to cut out. I just keep the box because it's an amazing looking box. But yeah, you've got the uh, illustrated version of Atlacabaterimon and you've got Tentamon on the other side. Anyway, two seconds. So this is a quick look, uh, much like Diaboromon, he's got a little stand that he comes with, which is nice. Uh, now yeah, as I mentioned, at the end I'll probably open these up and have a look and stuff, but um, this is him in the packaging. 
That's a darn good looking figure. That's like really cool. I know he's a bit creepy and stuff, but uh, I don't know, I love the skeleton beetle kind of thing. Anyway, I'll chuck this back in the box for now and we'll move on to the next thing. Alright, actually, I decided uh, instead we just open up the things now. So um, this does come with a booklet that shows how to transform him into Tentamon. I may give that a try. Um, if I'm successful with it, I'll post some pictures. I, I honestly can't be bothered right now to like fiddle with it. But a really cool thing. So he comes with a stand, which is very useful. Um, obviously because it's very top heavy. Now this, this guy, he is heavy. Like, you can definitely tell there's metal parts in it. So, the kind of cool thing, uh, he's got quite, you know, movable arms and stuff. Um, so, yeah, these two joints here sort of, like, bend up, which is very cool. And his hands move as well, and they're kind of on a joint. Same for his other arms. Um, don't think... No. So, his head does move, but if you move it down too much, it's because it's starting to digiv or, like, transform. Uh, yeah, legs aren't the most motion, you know, like, beast things, but they're pretty good. And, you know, it comes with a stand, which is the main thing, really, is, you know, legs do go forward and stuff. And a really cool thing, and obviously this is due to, like, the transforming thing, you can change the things on the back. So, obviously, Atlacabu Terrymon doesn't have the, like, ladybird spots, but obviously Tentamon does. Um, so that's very cool. And Ooh, I believe the shell separates and stuff. That's really darn cool, actually. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward, actually, to transforming this into Tentamon, just because, I don't know, th this might be the first Digivolving Spirits uh, figure that I love the base one as much as the Digivolving one, because uh, he is really cool looking, but man, Tentamon is equally as cool looking. But yeah, anyway, this is um, phenomenally made figure really really happy with my purchase here i was i was kind of questioning myself to be honest uh for a while i was like uh how much do i like tentamon as it turns out i like him a lot more when i can see him up close in 3d so yeah i'll uh, leave him on his little rest there and oh please don't fall over there we are right now i really will get on to the next product all right, the next product is, uh, well, it says right here, actually, Hatsune Miku Danboard. Uh, oh, man, the sides of this box are fantastic. So, as you can see here, um, yeah, it's a collaboration between Danboard and Hatsune Miku. So, a while ago, in um, in a Gacha Gacha crate that I did, I got a um, Danboard figure. And it's always, it's always something I'd kind of wanted to buy for a while. I love the design of Danboard. It's very... Simple but cute, and I think it's from the manga Yotsuba about a very imaginative green head little girl. And yeah, so I saw this on offer and was like, hey, this would go perfectly with my other Dan board that I got. So yeah, it, it's a very basic figure and stuff. Um, well, you know, a, a decent amount of motion on the arms there. Her legs do move, her, it, I don't know. Let's go the little mic, and I believe, oh yeah, these are on magnets, as, uh, oh, okay, there's some stuff, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep those on, just for, oh, or maybe not, I guess they'll come off. Anyway, yeah, so um, these can go 180 degrees, basically, and yeah, I, I thought it was really cool, actually, that these are on magnets. I think I got this for £11, um... Which is a pretty darn good price, I think. Uh, I think it's plastic, but like obviously it's metallic up here. And yeah, it's just very, it's very very simple design, but like the detailing and stuff is fantastic. Like look at that. What does her arm say? I cannot read it through the viewfinder, but if I can translate it or if it's upside down, then I shall put it uh, in the you know, uh, underneath this video thing here. And yeah, the the head headset thing is very appropriate as well. Just an overall very interesting, you know, thing to add to the collection. I, I love Vocaloid stuff. Don't really have any Vocaloid stuff, though, to be honest. So, um, yeah, this is kind of my first, really. Yeah, very nice. On to the next item. 
All right, so we are on to the last product before the um, lucky bag thing, and that is a Moncoli EX Pokemon uh, figure, and that obviously is a Lolan Tug Trio. Um, yeah, w once I saw that this figure was there, I knew I had to get it. Look at that! Those lovely flowing locks. I'm not even gonna bother to pull this out of the um, packaging right now because honestly, you guys can see it in detail uh, as much now as you could when he was out really very very detailed i had to get it for the hair honestly also i i'm quite a big fan of diglett and doug trio and yeah i've, I've got quite a few mon collie figures i bought them over the years they're just very very nice and i think this came to um what like three or four pounds or something so uh, actually, wait, no, no, this is like £2 or something. Um, I've got the receipt, actually, to my side, so I'll be able to tell you exactly how many yen I paid and how that works out. So, are we ready for the mystery box? I, I presume you are. I shall pull it out and I'll be right back. But wait, there's more. Okay, sorry, I um, I actually was telling myself in the back of my mind as I was uh, talking about that, I was like, wait... I've ordered one more thing, what the hell is it? I have ordered a Dragon Ball World Collection uh, figure series of Timebreaker Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, I believe. Uh, obviously, as you can see, that is Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and I think the name of the mask is Timebreaker. So, this is from Dragon Ball Heroes, which we don't have in the West, so I don't actually know who these people are. But that is clearly Super Saiyan Blue Goku... Vegito, that's the one I have, obviously. Um, and then we... Ooh, wow. What is going on there? Is that Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Um, I know that uh, Dragon Ball Heroes has quite an interesting kind of canon and stuff. But yeah, I don't have any Bardock-related stuff. And obviously I'm quite a big Dragon Ball fan. So I'm going to pop this one open and we'll take a look at him. Alright, so like other um, World Collection figures, it kind of comes in parts. You've got the figure, you've got the clear stand, and you've got the little base for it. So I shall go ahead and assemble that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here he is. I have assembled him and attached him to the base. Now, he is very top-heavy. I think this is the, uh, <laughs> the most precarious World Collection figure I own, actually, because uh, no part of him is touching the base. But still, I've got to say that the detail put into this is pretty darn good. Now, this, I think, cost me around about £4. I don't know how much that is in yen, but I've put it at the bottom of the screen. And, my God, that is absolutely worth it. Now, the mask uh, part is darn cool. Got a little eye looking out there. Um, his pose is a little tiny bit odd, because... It kind of works best, I guess, when it's elevated and you're looking down at him rather than straight on. But still, a man, that hair, that Sonic-esque hair is fantastic. I love Super Saiyan 3 just because of the massive, ridiculous amounts of hair. And yeah, overall, it's just a very well-painted, well-sculpted little figure. Like, sure, it's not got insane depths of details, you know, and... It looks, you know, obviously it's, um, what you call it, it's slightly chibi and stuff, which I'm not a massive fan of chibi things, but I don't know, World Collection figures do it kind of right. They at least give the body more proportion and stuff. That is really, really cool. Super glad I bought this. And, uh, yeah, I shall add it to my other World Collection figures. Actually, I should probably do a video on those one day. Uh, it's not a crazy collection, but, you know, there's quite a few of them. Right, okay, so now let's actually do the lucky bag. Stay with me, I shall go and grab it. All right, so here it is. Uh, and it is it is huge, actually. So um, on the front, I think it says Fukubukuro, which is the Japanese word for a lucky bag, I do believe. They've closed it up with staples, which is weird, so I'm just undoing those off camera. And yeah, these are kind of traditional in Japan, uh, stores do them. They're kind of like themed lucky bag things. Basically, it's kind of ways of stores to get rid of items and stuff. Now, there's a guaranteed item in here, as in I know one item is in here that's advertised as being the main thing, hence why I bought this specific one. Uh, so this is Dragon Ball... 
well, I don't know if it's Dragon Ball... Well, I think it's Dragon Ball Z themed. I don't think it's Dragon Ball Super specific, specifically. It's Dragon Ball in general. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty darn heavy, actually. So, I'm going to try and get... There we are, right. So I've grabbed the main thing. And that main thing is a Ban Presto Gogeta uh, statue. So I can't read any of that because that is in kanji. But if we look up here... This is indeed a Ban Presto product. Uh, Crane King, because obviously you, you win these in um, grab machines over in Japan. And it's actually really heavy. So the there were two things on sale. So I got this lucky bag for £35, um, as I did with the Atla Kabuterimon, actually. I forgot to put the price there. But yeah, so there was this, or there was, I believe it's Super Saiyan Goku doing like a fusion, uh, fusion like a Kamehameha thing. And, yeah, so I don't know what the difference is between these, A and B. Kind of hoping to get A, if I'm fully honest. But, you know, the B is not as cool, but whatever, I, I'd take it, I suppose. And, yeah, there's a model sculpture here. Him, obviously, it is written in Japanese, so I cannot read it. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to go ahead and get the cell tape off, and we'll crack into this and take a look, because that looks a darn cool, um, you know, model statue thing. All right, are we ready? Hey, we got the coloured one, thank God. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, so they come in parts. Now, I've never opened a um, Ban Presto thing. Oh, that's cool. So we got obviously the halo that goes in his head, and we got the little ribbons of his, um, uh, you know, of his belt and stuff. That, that is darn cool. Obviously, there's bubble wrap over his head. Right. Okay. I'm gonna go and construct this then. I imagine it's gonna be very simple, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Let's see. All right. I am back. Uh, I've dropped the camera a little bit just to give you guys a better angle of this. This is an amazing statue, holy shit. So, usually I buy, um, I buy articulated figures rather than statues, so this, you know, was was a bit... Well, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't think the quality would be bad, but I wasn't too sure if I'd actually be happy with this. And, my God, this has blown my expectations. So, um... There were two little pieces, obviously, so there's that there. It was a little bit awkward to put in, but it was nothing. And then the halo at the back of his, like, hair spike there. But honestly, if you angle it well, you know, like that, I mean, it's the best you're going to get. They could have done clear plastic, I guess, but, um... Man, look at the detailing on this. So this bag, as I said, cost me £35. Uh, I don't know how much that is in dollars, like $40. And that wasn't even just for this. There's other stuff in that bag as well. But this alone, I probably would have happily paid £35 for. I don't know how much this is worth on its own. Maybe it's a little bit less. Uh, I was slightly concerned, actually, that the pose wouldn't be that dynamic. Like, it wouldn't be that cool. Um, I was wrong. Fully wrong. This, yo, like... Just like stuff like his abs and stuff, the detailing. Uh, I'll try and get a good one of the face. It's about as good as you're going to get on the camera. Yeah, that is amazing. Honestly, I may, I may start buying a few more Ban Presto Dragon Ball statues, I think, because, uh, wow, this is not something they could convey, obviously, in, a, uh, in an articulated figure. Well, probably not. I mean, you could, but it would take you quite a long time. And yeah, it is, it's easy to assemble. I think I've got him on well, anyway. I think I've got the torso. Um, feet go on the stand very nice. The stand is slightly translucent. It says something in Japanese at the bottom, but it's in kanji, so I can't read it. That, yo, that was worth the, the, ba the lucky bag in itself. I love Gogeta. He is my favourite um, fusion out of him and Vegito. Vegito's cool. Gogeta, I think, though, his costume and everything just takes it for me. That is amazing. That is really nice. Right, I'll put him to the side. Two seconds. All right, then. So, there's one other thing they kind of hinted at, so I'll try and grab that next. There is another figure that's kind of, um, kind of Banpresto-esque. I, I don't think it is Banpresto, but there's another kind of figure, and you get a variety of 
like I think there were five different ones or whatever. Uh, hang on, I can't quite get that. Oh, is this Dragon Ball Super themed? Hang on, e hey, there we are. Um, no, Dragon Ball Z themed. I think we got Goku. That's pretty cool. Hey, Super Saiyan Son Goku. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what the name. Hang on, wait. Let's see if I can. This is Dracap Memorial, maybe. Um. Yeah, I'll open it up in a second. So this is, obviously, it's not quite as detailed as the Ban Presto. Ah, oh, there we are, Dracap Memorial. I should have just looked at the back. Yeah. Okay, so these, again, are like small statue things. I think there was a variety of, like, a few of them or something. Actually, I'm glad I got the Goku one, because... Uh, I can't remember what the other ones were, but I do remember thinking, ooh, Goku's looking pretty clean. And maybe, was it Raditz, I think? Anyway, sorry, I'll be right back. All right then, so um, yeah, a very statue-based uh, bag so far, but that is part of why I wanted it, because I don't have many statues, and I'd like more, really. Ooh, right, okay, this is going to be slightly harder to get details on, but yeah, so he's um, obviously going Super Saiyan, he's got a nice, oh, that's a really cool background, actually, that's really nice, uh, right, let's see if I can get more close up all right that's about as bet as good as i will do yeah i will <laughs> i'll be honest right the photos on the website when they mentioned it was one of these as well uh i did remember thinking those look pretty bad those look like really cheapy things as it happens that's not a cheapy looking thing at all that's got quite a lot of quality to it um obviously a smaller and stuff but i like he's got kind of translucent hair which is really, really cool because, um, well, I mean, that's what you think about when you think Super Saiyan, isn't it? It's kind of glowing hair. It doesn't just go yellow. It, you know, glows. I love the little rips and stuff in his clothes. That is fantastic. So I think that's like um, Freezer Saga, like the first time Goku went Super Saiyan. I do not know. That is really darn cool. All right, then. Right, time to look at what else we got in this little bag thing i will put him to the side and i'll be right back all right the battery is running low now so let's grab some stuff Ooh, what is oh oh <laughs> hello okay um i'm not all that too sure what this is is this a um oh yo is this a is this a card holder actually uh right hang on i'll, I'll get this out now yeah okay so <laughs> this is the freezer themed card holder um i don't think you'd fit many cards in here maybe like one or two i'm guessing this is a travel pass holder so like um obviously in japan you know trains are like the regular mode of transport i guess you'd put your train card in here it's flat enough you can like keep it in your wallet and whip it out and then scan it or whatever it's also got like a little keychain thing there as you can see so you can probably like attach it to a wallet or whatever. That's really cool, actually. You know, I do have an Oyster card when I go to London. I, man, I may actually put my Oyster card in here, because that way it's harder to lose as well. Because you know, there's freezer yelling at you. Right, what is up next? I think there's like two other items I felt. Uh, oh wait, okay, hang on. Ooh, very freezer themed. I'm liking this. What is that? Travel stick. Oh, yo! Yo, these are travel stickers. Okay, hang on. I see. Right, okay. So you, um... <laughs> Planet Freezer. Okay, I didn't read that. That's pretty cool. So that's, like, obviously a sticker you put on... You know, uh... Actually, yeah, out of all of them, right? Like, Planet Vegeta would have been cool. But I, I am a sucker for Freezer. Um... Hopefully, I put up a picture of my World Collection figures, because most of my World Collection figures are Freezer-themed. So, I highly approve of that. There is... Oh, is this another travel sticker? This is another travel sticker. Oh, yo! Planet... <laughs> oh, so I won't open this one, because obviously we've had a look. Oh, that's, that's fantastic, actually. So, um... Yeah, I think I got the best, too, honestly, because Planet Vegeta is obviously a planet. Uh, it's where Vegeta and his father Vegeta lived, you know, on planet Vegeta. Uh, right, ooh, ooh, this is an odd feeling one. 
Is this a... Oh, this is a pencil case. Ah! Oh, this is a Dragon Ball pencil case, I believe. Like, um, you know, original Dragon Ball. So we got Yamcha, you know, when he was still kind of relevant. And obviously, Young Bulma and Young Goku. Yo! Okay. So yeah, this is indeed a um, Dragon Ball pencil case. It's pretty good. Keep stuff in there. Keep drawing stuff in there. I don't really draw, but hey, if I ever do, I think that's the last item, which is good because my memory's running out. Wait, no, oh shit! Yo, there's one more thing. Ah! Oh! Wait, what is this? What? It's a metal... Is that Trunks? It's Dragon Ball Super. Hang on, let me take a look. Is it like a metal Super Saiyan Trunks thing? Right, I'll, I'll open this up and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright then, this is... What the fudge is this? This is cool, but also incredibly weird. A metallic blue Super Saiyan Trunks. That's very odd. Uh, it's super, super shiny. Well, that's really nice, actually. That's really cool. I mean, like, part of me is like, oh, man, they should have painted this or whatever. But I don't know. I, I kind of dig the weirdness of the colour. You know, it's like... It's quite well detailed. It's actually very well detailed. This is metal, by the way, as well. Um, yeah, that's very well detailed. And, like... The pose is just right that it can stand on its own, I think, as well. This is <laughs> this is very unexpected. I'm not too sure what this is exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure what that says, but it's something metallic. Uh, I think I'll probably really see this when editing, whatever the hell the English thing there says. But the viewfinder cannot find it. But yeah, DZ13. So I, I'm guessing there are obviously... Uh, Oh, guessing there are obviously other characters in the series, but that's pretty cool because I don't have any Trunks. And like, uh, this is Future Trunks Saga, isn't it? He's definitely my favourite version of Trunks. That's really cool. Well, man, that that was definitely that was definitely a good end. I think we had an amazing statue uh, in Gogeta here who is definitely worth that money. Uh, yeah, and the other things were quite nice as well. This little figure is pretty darn cool. Travel stickers, I'm probably not going to use them as travel stickers, but I may use them as regular stickers. And, uh, well, pencil case is very, very nice. And this is just so odd but cool that, uh, yeah, it's just a very nice surprise, actually. And obviously, the other things as well were awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching and sitting through this quite long video. Uh, I will be putting other videos up in the future at some point about other topics, so stay tuned for those. And until next time, goodbye.